my voice, but um, for you, those of you who don't know who I am, my name is Michelle Bissett, and I'm just a member of the community uh, who feels very strongly that this space should be made into a park as uh, the Canadian National Museum uh, promised before they turn this into a, 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 a temporary parking lot to facilitate the renovations of the museum. I want to say thank you very, very much for everyone for coming here today. I really, really appreciate it. I know it's a busy time of year and there's a lot of shopping to be done and it's not the, the sunniest day. Oh, okay, maybe you can get another balloon. Anyway, um, so I want to say thank you very much. Uh, there's a petition that's going around if anyone hasn't signed it. Uh, there's, uh, we would really appreciate if you could do that. And I'd like to also let you know that we have some uh, supporters here. We have Diane Holmes who would like to say something. And we have uh, two people from Paul Dewar's office because Paul couldn't make it here today and they'd like to make a statement as well. So um, Diane, would you like to start? So thank you very much, Diane. You don't need it? Testing. Now, yeah. Is this everybody? Nice to see you all. I'll take the stage. Nice to see you all. It's great to see so many people out here interested in this problem. Um, as you know, when this started nine years ago to provide the underground stability because of a sinking into the clay, and millions were spent on this building, there was always the promise that there would be underground parking. So part of that whole production was to provide underground parking. As there is under the Museum of Nat uh, Civilization, War Museum, National Gallery, this is the only museum that has been not provided with that kind of funding. So it's a reneging by the federal government of the kind of funding that was coming to this museum to keep it in the park-like setting that it is supposed to be in. So the Museum of Nature, that building was set into a park in its day, it's a historical landscape, a heritage piece of green space, and it has been totally desecrated. We need this museum to start to promote transit, wonderful transit on Bank and Elgin. We can walk from the downtown. We should be encouraging all our tourists to walk from the Parliament buildings down to this museum. They could be giving their workers bus passes rather than parking on this site. They seem to be renting some of that parking out to a nearby hotel, perhaps to the police station. So they are, they are so starved for money, not having much of an increase over many, many years, that they are trying to get money through any way possible. Renting some of that parking sounds as though it's one of their uh, ways to get better funds and permanent funds. My concern is, once it's there, well landscaped, permanent asphalt, be very, very difficult to do. So we need to um, keep the pressure up on Minister Baird, the Ottawa Minister for the Government. He can certainly reverse the decision about the money. He could, if he was interested, provide that funding for the spring when the time comes to look at making this situation permanent. So Mr. Minister Baird is the one to get in touch with, to ask him to provide the funding. I've done that. The more pressure, the better. The more people who do that, the better. Um, I think the, um, the new director is appointee of, of Parker, so I don't expect much fighting from that director uh, to fight the, lo the loss of funding that it has. So we need to keep the pressure on for as long as we can to try and get the museum funded properly.